One of the contested races we're closely following in this election cycle is for Minot City Council. Seven candidates are running for three open spots, including two incumbents. I caught up with all seven candidates to find out why they want to represent the people of the Magic City. Of the seven candidates running for Minot City Council, two of them are already on it. Dr. Stephen Padragula has served on and off the council for 16 years. He's worked as a clinical psychologist for 45 years. Padragula says the city works hard to keep property taxes as low as possible and puts an emphasis on public safety. We have 460 employees. We have a budget of $200 million. We serve well over 50,000 people with basic needs. And you need to know what you're doing. You need to know the context. You need to have a perspective on where the city has been and a sense of where the city is going. Also seeking re-election, Scott Burlingame. He won the special election in 2022 to fill the remainder of Mayor Tom Ross's seat. Burlingame has worked in the nonprofit sector for almost 30 years and puts an emphasis on child care access, among other issues. In the year and a half that I've been on, I've learned so many skills about how we can serve the community better. And I've got a lot of work left to do. There's a lot of stuff to do around child care yet, around smart growth, around stopping growth in, in property tax, and in trying to find ways to solve the problems of this community. Three newcomers, Mike Blessum, Rob Fuller, and Scott Samuelson, are campaigning jointly under the mantra, My Not, We Can Do Better. Blessum and his son operate an accounting solutions firm, among other businesses. He also served on the city's ad hoc human relations committee. I think the people are really looking for that. They're looking for a change, not only in their property taxes, but in the way the city's run, the focus that the city has on the types of items that a city government can do well. Fuller has worked in banking and now owns and operates a Minot area firearm business. He echoed sentiments on city concerns over taxes and budgets. Just looking at some of the city budgeting and stuff like that, I believe there's some wasteful spending going on. So I want to see if I can help get that under control um, kind of change our budgeting strategy a little bit instead of leveraging our future for everything. Let's look at the here and now and what we can do. Samuelson works for the North Dakota State Plumbing Board. He shared concerns with property taxes and spending. Our economic developments um, in Minot, I, th I think, is broken. I really think that we need to do a, an overhaul of that and, and how we, we look at that. Uh, spend those sales tax dollars. Also looking for your vote for the council, Mike Geetson. He's worked for multiple Minot area businesses and volunteered with Pheasants for the Future. He supports lowering property taxes, but not completely eliminating them. I want to look at spending. I feel like uh, we can achieve some property tax reductions by maybe reducing some spending. And then I want to be more transparent. I want people to feel like they have a voice uh, on the council. Leif Snyder is actively involved in coaching in the Minot area and helped launch the Minot State Women's Club hockey program. Snyder worked as a lobbyist during economic development. I want to see more engagement between the council and the citizens. I think too many decisions are being made based on who they influence or benefit, and that's a small group of people in town. I want everybody to benefit. Seven candidates looking to lead the city of Minot into the future. Now the term for Minot City Council is four years.